Hey guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to make your red and blue lights be all blue including the ELS lighting that surrounds the vehicle reflections off of the people, the cars, and the walls around you. So stick around if you want to see that and let me know what you guys think. Alright, first thing I want to do is give a shout out to Panos Zoff, and I could be mispronouncing his name, I apologize. But this guy has done a fantastic job with this pack. It's nine different vehicles with extras that you can add on or take off in-game. And I've already run the FPIS, which is the Taurus, in a video and absolutely loved it. So if you guys have checked that out, you've seen it, it's all been in red and blue. And awesome vehicles. So if you want to check it out, go to this area here. I'll have the link in the description below. And you can download the vehicles as well. So the first thing I want to do is find the police3.ytd file for the Taurus. Uh, the YFT, we can use that to review the vehicles, but to actually edit the textures is going to be right here. So your first thing you want to look for, Bueno Lights. It's the first lighting texture in the entire folder here, but you see where it has the red and blue. That's the part that we're going to modify here shortly. But before we do any modifications, you can see I've got this folder set up for Lighting Tutorials 2016 FPIS Original. I have one for Original, one for All Blues. We'll use both of those as we go. So what I want to do is using the keyboard, arrow keys up and down, scroll down until I see one of these that has textures, click it, drag it, and drop it. It'll create a copy in here for the Originals. And this is giving me a backup in case something goes wrong during the uh, modifications. Uh, drag Dom Lens 6, Emerge Lights, gonna keep dropping my way through here, LB underscore glass, and I've been through this one already so I know, but you want to go through each one of these just to make sure you're not missing one. Uh, the last one here at the very end is the Yon or Whelan Ions, drop that in there, and now you've got all of your lighting textures pulled out of the YTD folder. From there, go ahead and cancel out of that. Next thing you want to do is find your ELS folder, which here's the line for that, the path. GTA 5, ELS, pack default. If you've done any ELS vehicles and you've put an XML file into the game, this is where it goes. Uh, grab police3.xml, drop it in here as well. Go ahead and right click on police3.xml. Uh, go to edit with notepad plus plus if you have it. I strongly suggest that you do uh, Because if you don't the next best thing you've got is if you go into open 4 and right click on it You can do edit It'll come up with this blue screen It's kind of color-coded personally just not a preference to me I will go ahead and use notepad plus plus for this demonstration you can see where it has extra one color red, extra two color red, three and four is blue, five is red, six is blue. None of the other bits of information here are important to us right now for changing the colors of the lights flashing around you. So go ahead and copy blue from one of those and just paste it over the red in those three spots. And there you go, less than what, five, six seconds, you've managed to change all of the reflecting lights around you from red and blues to just blue all the way around. Works really well. Uh, don't change seven, eight, and nine because that's amber for your graphic advisors. So go ahead and do file, save as, go up to all blues, and this will be your first modified file. Just go ahead and save it under the same name. You want these to match exactly, so when they get put back into the folder, it is, it'll is—it all match up. And that's it, everything's done. Nothing else has to be done with that file. Let's go ahead and bring up paint.net. As most of you are aware, this is a program I use almost on a daily basis. I use it for skins, I use it for lighting textures, um, banners, logos, you name it. Uh, this is my, the, my program of choice, it's free to use. It has support from members of the community that have added enough plugins that it really rivals what Photoshop can do. So let's go ahead, bring up our originals folder, select every lighting texture, control click to get rid of police three out of that selection and drag that over into paint.net. 
and opens each image. Now you got five images open. This will be a really quick, easy way to change all of these out. So if it feels like I'm going fast, feel free to slow it down or feel free to let me know what you guys think because I want this to be helpful for you guys. I've already done this, I know what I'm doing on it, but I want you to know it as well. Let's go ahead and select here. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing, I'm selecting it with the, the selection tool, hitting Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and I'm just moving it right over the top of the red. And the reason I'm using the same blue textures here as I am here, because if you just try to change the color of it, you have a really high chance of having mismatched colored lighting. And everybody will notice if you have a like cyan blue colored light next to a dark blue colored light. So that's an important thing. So one thing you'll notice with stuff like that last one I just did, these are transparent, so you really want to make sure you're copying the right parts and not overlapping stuff, because it will actually make it darker in certain spots. So there we go, that file is completely done. Let's go ahead and hit, go on to the next one here. And this is the light bar, so I'm just gonna grab, grab the light bar, copy, paste, and then drag that image up. Cover up the red lens, and that one's done. We go to the wheel and ion, select that blue one. And this one, what I would recommend is to copy it, create a new layer and paste it. So control, new layer, control V, and then go to that layer, drop the opacity down so that when you're trying to line it up, you can actually see the red underneath it. And then if you need to, you can adjust that image slightly to cover up all of the red. And then from there, increase the opacity back to full, merge the two layers, and now that image is done as well. You'll notice I'm not saving it. I'm going to hold off on saving to the very end so you see the same pattern, and that will give you a good bit of repetition for memorizing it. All right, image number four. Select the blue lens here, copy it, paste, and drag it over to the right. Perfect. And do the same with the bottom one. As you can see, with practice, this process gets really fast. Uh, some texture related work can take an hour or two to work on. In this case, we're just kind of flying right through it. I've found that the best number for this is 35, and I can use the color picker tool, which is this one right here. Select that color of blue, paste that in. Covers that box up perfectly. And now we've got that one done. So one less box to worry about. Select that one, paste it. Line it up. So you look across the top, all of these are done now. So I'm going to go to the first one, file, save as, and this is an important part. Go back to all blues. That's your modified folder. Now ch keep the file name exactly the same. Change save type to PNG. For some reason, DDS frequently will not load back into Open4. It'll actually crash the program. Uh, go to the next image. File save as. Change direct draw surface DDS to PNG. Put that in the all blues. Keep it as the same name. Hit save. Hit OK, that's two done. Same process, save as, ENG, go back to all blues, and save. Hit OK. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out these last two here. It's the same process. Uh, fortunately, there's no difference between each of these images. Bueno lights, hit OK. File, save as. Oh, we've already done this one. Got ahead of myself. File save as on DOM lens 6. ENG. Go to all blues. And hit save. So now, go back to open 4. Find your YTD file for the vehicle you're working on. As you can see, Bueno Lights still has red and blue. But if we go to 
our O all blue folder. In fact, I'll bring it up like this so you can see the comparison of the two. Left is original. And right is all blues. So now, I can close out originals, grab all of the modified files except for the XML, and drop it into the YTD folder. You can see Bueno Lights has changed, Dom Lens 6, Emerge Lights, and so forth. You can check them all if you want, but we can tell that it's working. Go ahead and hit save. If you find that none of those images transferred over, you most likely don't have Open 4 in edit mode, which you see right here on the top of the screen. You click that, it'll warn you, you hit yes, and then you can make those changes. Uh, so all image folders, all image files are done. Go to ELS, police3.xml, and we'll just double check this. See it's red, red, blue, blue, red, blue. Our modified file, we'll edit with notepad, is all blue, except for the, the traffic advisors, which is fine. You could even change the traffic advisors if you want them to be blue. Um, a lot of different colors are available for this stuff. If you want me to go into more detail on that, I can. Just let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and drop our XML file in. And now I want to just make sure it actually transferred over. And it did. Perfect. All right, guys, so glad you stuck around for that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought on the process and the results of this project. So we do have the vehicle here as we had at the beginning with the red and blues. You can see all the way around us. And now we're going to hop in, turn these lights off. So let's go ahead and turn these on, see what it looks like. All blue, all the way around. And if you haven't been here before, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the like button, and we'll see you on the next one.